Hi, my name is Chris Kovach and I'm the Regional Sales Consultant in Northeastern Florida for Toby Dynavox. This is going to be the first of three videos that are going to help to explain positioning, calibration, and then adjustments to the eye gaze settings on a Toby Eye Series device, PCI Go, or PCI Mini. So, the first thing we want to do is start with our proper positioning. So, what we want to do is go either in through Communicator 5, or if we are on our desktop, on our iSeries, or on our computer, what we want to do is get into our gaze interaction settings. Uh, the gaze interaction symbol is the red icon that has the white eye located on it. So, like with many things in Communicator, you can access this settings menu two different ways. You can come out to the desktop and double click that uh, to open it, or you can go through within your Communicator 5 software. You can right click if you're on a computer, or you can hit the third button on the left hand side of the iSeries device, the one with three dots on it, to bring up your quick menu guide. Then we can go into our advanced settings, and we can go into our input method, and it's going to allow us to go into our gaze interaction settings from here. So this will bring us to this same screen no matter which way you do it. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we are in the right position. So you can hit the track status box here to let us know where we are so we can play around with that. Or on an iSeries device, typically the left hand side of the device, the button with two dots is typically programmed to be a quick toggle on and off for that track status box as well. So what we want to do is pull up that track status box and as you can see my unit is now picking up my eyes uh, both pretty well solid white circles. What we want to do is try and get that uh, representation of my eyes to be in the center of the black box as close to the center as we can both vertically and horizontally and we want those circles to be as solid white as possible. That means the cameras and the illuminators are picking everything up properly. If we are getting a fluttering with the eyes, check to make sure if we're wearing glasses that the glasses are clean. Make sure there's nothing highly reflective behind us like a window or a mirror. And make sure that we don't have another direct light that would be bouncing off of our eyes or um, off of our glasses that might cause interference with the illuminators coming from the speech unit itself. So once you get the white circles in the middle of the black box, the next thing we want to do is look at that white triangle in the colored bar on the right side. And you'll see that as I move too far away or too close to the unit, it goes to the yellow and into the red. Our goal is to get that white triangle right in the center of the green if we can. That tells us we're about 18 to 24 inches away. And now we've accomplished both a good distance and a proper position for uh, us to access all areas of the screen. So once we have this set up, we can hit close here and we will work then on the next video for calibration.